Hey there, how's it going? What's up, everybody? Irish Rantain is back to pass along what you need to know to get better at Madden and grow your Mutt team. Enjoy the show. Today, I am happy to be able to bring you another top 10 video. We are uh, getting going here with 4-3. Uh, we did go over 3-4 just a little while ago go with that video coming out a little bit later than Sunday so I do apologize about that but we're recording this one midweek just to make sure those people coming out with the 4-3 definitely have the opportunity to know who should be added to their team and at the top of the ladder who they could go out and get to make their team just a little bit better. Um, we have talked about some of those team builders and team MVPs. And if you have a little bit less coins, some of those players that you can go out and get, and they'll play a little bit better on the field for you. Um, but let's get started here with number 10, and we'll switch up the screens here in just one second. It is always sad to put a cowboy kicking off the list, but at least he's at number 10. And we have Mr. Leighton Vander Esch. He is a tear out there. And with a lot of people getting similar stats, you need to start looking at kind of their size over some of the other things that to do come with the player. Some people are special and are edge rushers like Von Miller. He was a little bit higher on the 3-4 list even though he's 6-3. But Just looking at those stats, that's absolutely dangerous. But when you're in the 4-3, you want most of your linebackers to be able to cover a little bit better and worry about your players up front coming out and rushing. So with Van Der Esch, he'll be able to drop back into coverage. He'd be a tremendous user that acceleration and tackle up there as well. He'll be able to stop in the run and shoot those gaps. When he first came out with this card, I saw him all the time, and it was really frustrating to play against him over on that side. So I guess we just need to figure out how to scheme past him in real life, and that's going to be very difficult with Jalen Smith in the middle as well. And Sean Lee coming back one more year. So Cowboy fans have to be happy that in real life and in the game, they have a tremendous player. At number nine, we have Indomitian Sue. He is a beast in the middle, can shut down the run and come after you. He does have a little bit slower of speed. I know a lot of people like to move their defensive ends inside, but with the rush really taking over in a lot of different ways, you really need to figure out how to shut that down. And Sue coming in in your 4-3 can really be a player that can do that for you. I do like to play him in my 3-4 as well, but I think... The way that he plays and with the balance of other players that are kind of in the game, I think he fits better in a 4-3 most of the time. Coming in at number 8, we have Anthony Barr. He is an absolute beast and a tremendous user over there for your 4-3. He is going to continue to be used that way, staying in Minnesota and deciding not to go with the Jets. He is a beast out there. I did go out and pick up a few of his cards with comparing him to Clowney, and I do run the 3-4. So with most of the time, I do a 4-3 in the lineup or in the playbook. Um, Clowney does look very similar, and I can use him similarly and just bring him on that blitz a little bit easier. But dropping someone back into coverage, Anthony Barr is definitely superior in that way, so he fits in very just about every 4-3 that I could imagine. If you need someone to blitz, he's actually not that poor at that. He fits in kind of like a Willie McGentist would on most teams. Coming in at number 7, we have Jason Taylor. He'll be a perfect fit to come around the corner. He looks a lot like a Julius Peppers, um, but a little bit of a downgrade from him. He has tremendous speed and being six foot six, he could be a user QB spy and do a great job at that over on that side also. I have him actually at my left end at Bruce Smith, at my right on my uh, Washington theme team, but uh, we do not have, have him all the way up quite yet. Uh, we will be doing that with some training come this Saturday when that will be available. But I definitely would advise bringing him off the edge. He will be a tremendous player for you over there and will be able to fit there until the end of the year. 
coming in at number six, we have Bryant Young. I am very excited. He fits in on my team again in that 3-4, but I feel as if he'd be perfect for a 4-3 scheme. Love bringing him in in nickel and dime situations, and he does tremendously for me over there. I really would advise bringing him in. He'll be able to shut down the run and rush the passer. He'll be able to push the middle of the pocket while you have those guys sprinting around the outside and looping and doing all those things that you need. He'll just be that thumper up the middle, and he'll be the rock for your defense that you really want. And he'll be able to be featured, and you won't have to worry about him until the rest of the year as you see all those marks so close to 99 just stock. Coming in at number 5, we have Jalen Smith. He is a tear in the middle. He fits in very well with uh, Leighton Van Der Resch and has that tremendous zone, has the hip power if you want to use her with him. But he has the play rec already up that high and the zone that high. You really don't need to do that, and you can focus somewhere else on your defense because he'll just continue to get the job done for you. He is a little bit undersized, but with 4-3, you can kind of let that happen with the... Uh, those four big men up front, and you can let this man run around and get those picks for you over the middle. Coming in at number four, we do have Khalil Mack. He is a tear off the edge. He did play at the linebacker position, but now he fits in tremendously in a 4-3. He can be a tear off the edge with his strength and his block shed he is just someone that you uh need to have on your team excuse me he is now an outside linebacker he was defensive end so that's why he stuck with his position so next year he'll be able to run at that outside linebacker but now he is just an overly speedy left end that you need to have on your team um coming in at number three we have ryan shazier Yesterday, I was able to get him to his gold 99s. He fits in absolutely every scheme this year, being the master. 94 speed, 95 acceleration. There was a point a uh, while ago before he got his latest upgrade that he was not the best middle linebacker in the game. That went to Bobby Wagner, but now Shazier, in my mind, and I feel as if in most, is the best player out there at the linebacker position overall but in 4-3 he is absolutely dominant with that zone coverage he can knock anyone out and run sideline to sideline it is very exciting to see that the Steelers picked up his most recent contract even though he will in all likelihood not be able to play this year but his recovery is going very well and I'm very happy to see they picked up that contract and Shazier the best middle linebacker that you can get to fit into your 4-3. Coming in at number two we have Telvin Smith. He is a tremendous athlete off that edge. Him being an NFL combine player that kind of Helps him stand out a little bit more in that way because they have given him boosts throughout the year that help him out in those categories. He is tremendous against the run and dropping back into coverage. Do not see his zone right here, but we'll go check that out in just one second. But with that top-notch speed being 6'3 and that play rec being 97, he can be someone you can just sit over there and not have to worry about the rest of the year. 82 catching is tremendous. Saw the 95 tackling earlier. Jump is only at 79, which is a little bit wanting. But with that man in zone being up that high, you can put him over where their best offensive player is and just really not have to worry about him. And you can put um, double teams at other parts of the field. And coming in at number one, the best player that you can fit into your 4-3, we have Julius Peppers at the left end position. You can play him at any position up front, linebacker, defensive end, defensive tackle, and he'll be able to fit in wonderfully for you. His uh, last card being limited, he'll be a wonderful fit. I have had him playing at the right outside linebacker position until Jadavion and Lawrence got their most recent upgrades. 
but now I am going to be floating him around and moving him around the front of my defense and putting him in QB Spies as Vic has that crazy upgrade to his card, but with that 96 acceleration and being six foot seven, no one is going to get past him. He is a creature up there that is just absolutely dominant. He looks like Predator um, with his last card. I do love the Sia, um, but with that, go out and get this man. You just absolutely need him to shut everything down up front. I know his block shed is low, but he will get it done for you. With that, I don't have much left to say. Just go check out the 3-4 video if that suits you better. But that is it for today. Come say something on Twitter or in the comments if you need um, to say something that um, differs from my list. If you really need or um, feel like someone from your team probably deserves to be on a little bit better. I did toss on a couple Cowboys, so that is just hurtful to start off with. But um, if any Eagles fans feels if they should have anyone up there, definitely let me know. But have a great night, and I wish you all the best, everybody. Thank you for checking into the Irish and Rain Tang channel. Keep coming back to get better at men and grow your mutt team. There will be at least five videos up a week, so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to see them all. Come by Twitch to engage and hit me up on Twitter at Irish and Rain Tang. Take care and much love, everybody.